Yo, yo, what up, what up, y'all? Man, I'm just about to dive right into it, man. So now, I got some information. Now, Sony have asked for more time to pass these documents over to Xbox and the gaming community so we can actually see all of the greedy, the grimy, the shady backdoor lowdown deals that they did behind Xbox back. Now, they need so much time to come up with so many more lies. They're gonna continue to cry. They're gonna continue to beg to stop this whole entire Call of Duty Activision Blizzard deal. Now, like I said before, $70 billion is a lot of money. Man, Xbox can buy PlayStation if they wanted to. Hell, they can even buy Nintendo. But those Decepticons over there at Sony's front office, they're so greedy, they're so grimy and shady, they're turning against their own fan base, they're doing price hikes, charging $70 a game, ripping everybody off, but they don't want to show why they're doing it. They don't want to they don't want to show everybody their bank account. They don't want to show everybody their bank statements. So they're asking for more time to make up more lies and they're going to continue to brainwash the fan base. Now we already know, we've been over this a thousand times already. What's going to go down with this whole entire Call of Duty Activision Blizzard deal? Now, are they going to allow Xbox to buy it? Or are they going to listen to Sony and block it? Now that won't be a really good thing to block it because you really don't want to make Uncle Phil mad because he, he's already ready to cash out and buy more studios. Now if you block this deal with Call of Duty, who knows? Xbox might go buy Grand Theft Auto. They might buy Red Dead Redemption. You know, we don't know what they might buy. They might buy Ubisoft. They might buy Square Enix. They might buy up every superhero game. So we don't know what's the next move if something like this falls apart. Now we don't want to see them just completely dominate everybody because then we won't really have options. But then again, I kind of do because I'm so sick and tired of Sony. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it goes on and on and on and it never stops. I'm tired of the ponies. I'm tired of the fanboys. I'm tired of them looking down on the Xbox community and fan base. I'm tired of them keep saying, oh, Xbox ain't got no games. Now before, now you can remember a year ago or so, you know, before this year dropped, you know, everybody kept saying, oh, Xbox ain't got no games. Xbox ain't got no games. Now, you can kind of hear that narrative kind of dying down. Now it's more so Xbox were the games. We're tired of waiting on the games. Now you see how that changed? Now you can imagine if Xbox owned Call of Duty, how many people are going to support this brand now? You're going to see so many people bandwagon. All the ponies are lying already. You can't trust them from a can of paint. I don't believe nothing that comes out of pony mouth. Now once this deal falls through, you're going to see so many people jump ship, so many people start to bandwagon and root for Xbox because they're going to have the marketing rights. And that's what Sony don't want to give Xbox. Think about it. When a commercial comes on, you see a Call of Duty commercial, what do you see at the end of the commercial? On PS5. So those marketing rights is what Sony don't want to give up. They don't want to pay Xbox the extra bag. To basically put Call of Duty on PlayStation anymore. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they want to work a deal out so that they don't have to keep expanding this contract. You know, so it's going to be three years we're going to see Call of Duty on PlayStation, five years, ten years, a lifetime. Who knows? But Xbox just say, hey, we want Call of Duty to be the new Minecraft. And Sony is slowing the process up. Now, why are they slowing the process up? Who knows? Who knows? They want extra DLCs. They want to unlock extra add-ons and everything else that comes with Call of Duty, but they don't want it to come to Xbox and PC because Sony loves to gatekeep everybody behind this $70 price tag. Now, the entire industry is going up. Even Nintendo is starting to charge $70 for games. Now, this is just crazy because that is some old hardware to be demanding $70 for. But at the same time, Nintendo is big time. So if anybody can kind of do it with their first party games as well, I, I would say like Mario, you know, like Zelda, Metroid, other games like that, big time games like that for Nintendo. 
But at the same time, Sony started the $70 trend. Sony started marking up everything. And we just want to see the bank statements. We want to see all of the lies that's been told. But Sony keeps running and hiding. They keep ducking and dodging. Those Decepticons don't want to show any proof about what they've been doing behind Xbox back. Because we already know, in a few more weeks, maybe a month or so, we're going to really start to see what Sony's been doing behind closed doors. Now, if they continue to run, then this deal might just get pushed through without Sony, without the approval, without a contract. So now Call of Duty may only come, you know, to PlayStation year by year until they just completely take it off PlayStation. And then now everybody got to go get an Xbox, a PC, or jump into the Xbox Game Pass ecosystem. Now, if you would like to jump into the Xbox ecosystem, just click the link down below and download Game Pass Ultimate on your PC. If you'd like to jump into the PlayStation ecosystem, just drop down in the, the description below and click the link to PlayStation Plus Premium if you have a laptop or a PC. Now, you can do other stuff like order merch, games, rent games, and so much more other stuff by clicking the link down below. So, you guys already know what to do, man. This was just a quick update. So, smash that like, that subscribe button, click that notification bell, man, so you guys can stay notified on all of the new latest and greatest news out here in these gaming streets. And peace.